Shelly, first love, after being back from vacation, how was your vacation? I hope it was amazing. I love vacations. Yeah, boo boo. So, sorry about that. Um, I don't know what goes on, but I'm going to film from my phone. Sorry, I'm trying to get this turned around. Ugh. Hello again, everyone. Hello. Okay. I'm just going to have to look at part of the studio for just a second while I get this fixed. So we're supposed to have some bad weather here in the Dallas. Wait, that was right already. And I'm willing to bet that that's what's up with my phone and with my internet. Sorry for moving. Something went wrong, you think? So, we're just going to do this just like this. Okay. YouTube's still not working for me, so I'm just going to see if I can pull up the video so that I can see y'all's comments. Is it not working? Well, it is now, but... Okay. Thanks, you guys. We're back. Um, oh, that looks great. But we're on my phone, so. You're on your phone? Yeah, it's it dropped. And so, uh -huh. since I came over here and started setting up, it had dropped a few times, so we're just not dealing with it. We're going to do phone. So, huh? Sucks. Yeah, but it's okay. Inside the box is a this, a user manual for 14 color alcohol ink set. Pooja, I love you. Go lay down. Um, fast drying pigment dye inks, vibrant colors, used with a blender to achieve layers. I never have that much luck with blenders, if we're being honest. Color and depth on waterproof paper, non-porous surface, forever for alcohol inks painting. Mm. I would suggest some edits in this. Anyways, um, you can use on ceramic or glass, apparently. Be mindful of quantity while use in resin. Adding too much will affect the resin curing process. It's not suitable for UV resin. And then you can follow these things. I have a link already in the... Nope. It would have been in the description box below this video, but life so i'll add that link later or you could just follow my link to the amazon page that is in the description box doink 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 and i have these listed already in there i have tried the let's resin um inks before and they were okay they weren't anything that i would write home about but they weren't bad at all either by any means. Um, I just prefer the hyper pigmented um, like Copic and Ziggs. So we will see if this set is better. It already looks different. It's in the Bria Reese looking bottles, which already gives me a little bit of hesitation because I was never a fan of the Bria Reese alcohol inks. For no real reason other than the color payoff just wasn't there. It reminded me that you get what you pay for. Um, so that it comes with a blender. A deep violet, which I'm going to keep out because I'll probably use it. Fluorescent yellow. Does that mean it glows under a black light? Yes, it does. You guys can't see it, but it does. Also, the pink glows. Okay. No, I'm not going to use purple because we're probably going to go with my standard palette. Fluorescent. Uh, I'm sorry, rose, not pink. 
Ugh. Y'all. Uh, cerulean blue. Looks more like a teal, but okay. Indian blue. Turquoise green, maybe. Vivid green. Yellow, a black. We're gonna test that. Cobalt. Orange. And vivid red. For some reason, I thought there'd be a white in here because the last alcohol ink set I reviewed and a gold. The last alcohol ink set I reviewed from them did have a white, but I think that was for actually dropping into resin, which I'm not the biggest fan of just because it's not light fast and it's probably going to fade over time. There's no bead in here, I don't think. So it's not really mixing in that well because the gold will sink and separate. I'm not gonna spend the whole time trying to get everything incorporated into this, but if you're watching Let's Resin, let's try to add a, a BB or a pellet or something into these. So all of them say shake before use. Um, they don't really look separated, but never hurts to follow the instructions. I only have this one out because turquoise green doesn't go with what the label says. So there's no seal of any kind. It just, just is. Ugh. Um, I would call that more of a Kelly green, but it's pretty green. And the color looks very rich, which is all you can really ask, right? So I did want to see if this black is like a brownish black or true black. It goes gray. That's awesome. So that's a good thing. A lot of blacks sometimes will like fade out to brown, but this one looks good. Yeah, it looks like just regular green to me too, but who am I? Um, I'm going to be trying these out on both ceramic tile, super shiny, and one of my cradle boards. This has already been prepped with spray gesso twice, and in between the layers, I sanded with 220 the first time and 400 the final time, so it's like super ultra smooth. I am also, I've got equipment here to test it and see how this alcohol ink handles flame. So let's put this over here and do coasters first. Come on over people, come on over. All right, I need some alcohol, bam. For this, we are gonna be using 91% isopropyl alcohol. It does all this stuff, but it also helps my alcohol inks move, whoop, sorry, move more easily over the surface of whatever I'm pouring it on. So that's why I use it. And I guess you could use it as an antiseptic and all the other stuff that it says on here. So, let's get this party started. I wish I had my something, this which had my this. So I'm going to add my alcohol into this like ketchup bottle. It just helps me to control, control um, my inks. Nope, the alcohol better when I'm adding it to a surface. So you're gonna see me use this ketchup-y style squirt bottle instead of the big bottle of um, alcohol. Just heads up. Okay. I should probably go ahead and put this foil down. Oop. And what this is going to do is catch any 
alcohol that flows off the surface of whatever I'm working on. So it doesn't catch my whole studio on fire. I do also have a fire extinguisher handy as well, just in case. Better safe than sorry, right? Right. And actually, I have this shot glass so that I don't melt anything. All right. So, here we go. Alcohol. This is tilted, but that's okay. Fire is cool, that is for sure. So the colors that I'm gonna use are my go-to for alcohol inks. I'm gonna use fluorescent yellow. Well, these aren't my go-to specific colors, but these are my go-to shades for alcohol inky things. Any kind of turquoise, any kind of pink, and any kind of yellow. I think at first I'm gonna just see what these look like by themselves. Also, I don't know where my embossing gun is, so I'm gonna use my heat gun that I use for resin, but on low airflow and about medium heat. Y'all, these are so far not bad. This is only the first one. Time will tell all of the things, but so far, not mad at it. It's definitely more pigmented than the last. Not a bad, not a bad, no bad. YouTube was going down. Oh, it was a YouTube issue too? Cool. Cool, cool. All right, that's what the blue one looks like. Or the cerulean, aka teal. Let's try the pink. Oh. Okay. I thought I had shaken them all. This one's chunky. Let's set this aside. We'll wipe it off. I so I need to shake this up a little bit. It's strange because I don't see any chunkies in here. Be sure it's nothing that I put on there by accident. All right, so we're all shook up. Two drips. Mmm, y'all. Oh no. Color is awesome. Color is very awesome. But it's chunky. Put the alcohol ink in alcohol. Oh, I did that. Super glowy. B, check this out. Maybe it is the fluorescent colors, but... And after I pushed everything around a little bit, it's... Showing a little bit less chunky, but y'all, mm, not a fan of. Chunky alcohol inks, but we'll see. May have to switch our color down to the, the red. Yeah, I'll give it a shot with a blender.
There's a little bit of chunk in the yellow too. I don't know that I've ever used a fluorescent alcohol ink, like one that said fluorescent on it. Super glowy, but you can see the splatters of where the chunk settled. All right, let's try the pink with the blender just because, oops. You want me to squirt it just on top of it? Let's do that. Let's do it on this one because that's the biggest chunky offender. This is the one I didn't shake up though, so. That could be the issue. The blender is to help blend the colors, so. I've never, I don't really use a blender because it just doesn't do what I want it to do. I may switch to vivid red and regular yellow because of the chunkiness, but I have these on hand just in case I need them. All right. I think I like that blue better when it just first gets dropped in. Before it's like thinned out. So the colors, even without using the blender, seem to mix together rather well. Sorry about all that movement. But the color payoff is kind of not, but I like it though. It's got a soft pastel -y look to it. Not mad. Not mad at all. I'm going to try to do it with the fluorescence. I want to see how they how the fluorescence act with um, being lit on fire as well. Whoops. Those chunks. I guess if you wanted to do a textured alcohol ink piece, this would be your go-to. Judy! Let's resin made me think they were resin specific. They're not resin specific, but I wouldn't drop anything chunky into my resin anyways, because you don't want that texture ruining a piece, you know? All right, let's see how the fluorescent ones like being caught on fire. Move everything flammable out of the way.
I'm gonna shake this up super good again. Just a couple chunks in there this time. All right, let's get the camera out of the way as well. doesn't seem to be giving that many problems. I figured there would be some kind of spark or some kind of something. So not too bad. If you guys do this, make sure you're very safe. I have all proper precautions. And don't burn yourself. Very easy to do. So, um, not bad. The chunks didn't make that big of an issue. So, I don't know if I shook it up better that time around or if the fire burns off some of that texture because it's basically not there. Put that in the winner's pile. Okay, so let's try that again, but this time use all three of the colors I initially picked out. Taking care to shake them really well every time. Ideas, don't give anyone any silly ideas. People out there will believe you. All right, move all that out of the way. Definitely see the chunks in there again. I love the randomness that happens when you light alcohol inks on fire. I always check under my piece before picking it up because there could be hidden flames under here. So be very careful. So the chunks seem to melt out a little bit with the fire. They're not as, um, they're not as bad, but they're definitely still there. Okay. This is what the box looks like. Okay. So, interesting. Caramelized chunks. Basically, that's what, what it looked like for sure. So let's do Is that the grainy, the chunks? Yeah, it is. So let's now try a, an actual piece and see if we 
can get some stuff that we like happening. So when I do resin pieces, I always basically drench my surface with alcohol so that it flows really nice. Grease the pan. I don't want to add too much. Ugh, okay, I'm probably not even going to use the pink because I don't want it to get chunky and I'm not going to light this on fire. Which makes me sad because I like pinks in my alcohol ink, but whatever. Let's see if we can make some magic. There's a lot of alcohol on here, which is fine. I try to have a, um, a rag handy so that I can lift some of the color out if it's starting to get a little muddy kind of like it is over there so we'll just push that off don't forget to do a test of the um that gold I will say, even though I'm not, I wish the color payoff was better, the blends between the colors are really nice. They're very soft. So I'm excited about that. There we go. It's very pastel, right? It's kind of like how the last inks I tried from them were. Um, pretty, but soft, you know? So, I just, I don't know. I'm glad the yellow looks more like yellow than it does in the, this. Yeah, the flow between them is very nice. There are 12 in the... know what that is um there are 12 in the in the set all right not bad not bad Let's test out this gold. All right. Ugh. Okay. I'm not going to catch the gold on fire because it literally 
never is a good look. So that's pretty gold. Love the floaty bits. That is a very soft gold. Bye, Lynn. I'm not mad at this gold at all. In fact, the gold may be my favorite of all of them so far. All of the pigments. Let's try the gold with a color. I've got three more Coasties to do. Purple and gold. Request accepted. Just give me two moments. No, I don't have these um, these coasters on the website because you can get them for like I I don't even know the price. It's crazy affordable how much or how not expensive these tiles are at like Home Depot or Lowe's. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to make any dollars if I sold them. Not mad at that at all. Yeah, they're ceramic. All right, purple and gold as requested by Madam Vamp. That purple looks pretty sick. Right up Vamp's alley, I would argue. I was going to blend it around a little bit more, but it started doing this straighted look, and I'm going to roll with it. I'll do another purple one, a blended out one. I'm digging the purple. Not bad. Not bad at all. So this is the last one.
fly. All right. So, I gotta say, if you're in the market for a fluorescent alcohol ink, I think they need to work out a few bugs before going with the Let's Resin ones. Um, for the price, I think the price is like in the $20-ish range for this many, what size is this? 20 mil, for 12 20 mil alcohol inks, $20 or whatever it is isn't a bad price at all whatsoever. Um, the color payoff, you're gonna have to use a little bit more of the ink than you would other brands, but that's okay because they're not that expensive. I do think they need to work on their uh, fluorescence because that chunky look isn't a cute one, even if you do shake it, unless that's a look you're cool with or going for, then by all means, rock on. Um, loving this purple color. I would use this in every piece ever. And if you put enough of the aqua color down, then it's a, well, what, a cerulean. If you use enough of it, um, it's an awesome color payoff as well. The gold is pretty great. It, it definitely rivals gold from more expensive brands. So definitely that's a good one out of the kit. The black is a true black. I'll, I'll do a test and see if it fades under resin, what it fades to. Um, and the blender I would imagine is just like any other blender. So yeah. They all blend really well together. Not mad at this piece at all. It'd be a great piece or possibly a background. So yeah, I have a link in my description box under the video to Amazon. Doink, doink, doink. Uh, click the Amazon link and I have it already listed there so that you can find it easily. Come here. Cujo is letting me know that it is his time, people. And yeah. Okay, 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 you're fine. You're okay. Um, I gotta take care of this little nugget. Thank you guys so much for watching, seeing what we're up to today. If you have any questions, ask Bowie. Or do what Clara just said on the thing, on the chat. And um, if you guys have any ideas of stuff that you would like us to test out, send me a message or send them a message and tell them to send me some stuff so I can review it for you. Um, be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through. And always remember, we do the test. So you don't have to. Bowie, did you get excited because you don't have to? Oh, I know it. I hope you guys have an awesome night, and we'll see you next time. Bye. I said bye.